And we're back to another episode of Let's Play Lunar 2 Eternal Blue Complete. I'm your host, the RPG Guy, and I all swear I speak English. Oh, anyway, um, we're tackling the epilogue stuff. Yay! And we need to now go and find us some special dungeons. And we're going to do them in a sense where we, A, they're the easiest ones to do, and B, they're the most beneficial to do up front. So maybe not necessarily the easiest to do. We are going to do the easiest and shortest one first, but the next couple will be probably a little harder, but for good reason um, and, and whatnot. So let's get going. So this wasn't here before. Looks like this, this, uh, this mountain range has a butthole. Let's go inside its butthole. The mountain range butthole. <laughs> um, and it's riddled with monsters. So many monsters. <laughs> and uh, so it's not necessarily a massively long dungeon, but it is filled with concentrated rage. Um, the enemies here are ranged, can be ranged from rather difficult, so you got to be somewhat aware and uh, somewhat careful with what you're going to do here. Um, but we're going to go ahead and do as much as we can on the on the uh, cheap here. Oh, that's right. Ronfar has a different layout for crests. It's okay. We just know he doesn't have the movement range that he used to. So we'll deal with that later. But you'll notice these enemies are no pushovers. No pushovers at all. Um, <clears throat> and there is a boss in this dungeon, so you're not going to want to go too crazy with the magic. Outside of maybe Lamina and Ronfar's. We're going to preserve... As much MP as we can, for obvious reasons. This thing should be dead, though, after a couple of hits here. But you notice he was so far back, he's really hard to reach. Now, the XP in these dungeons are going to be great. They're going to be amazing. They're going to be spectacular. And it's going to be one of those things where you're not going to want to dick around with a lot of it. Now, with that said, you'll notice that there's these things on the ground that look like these swords, right? And you might even notice that we're being chased by enemies wielding swords that are swords. They're not wielding swords. They are swords. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. They are swords. And what we're going to need to do... Oh, that's right. Oh, it's only magic. I keep forgetting. Oops. So, yeah. for no, There is no reason you should ever attack the... Uh, those dudes with non-magic attacks. Hmm. And since there's a lot of enemies, I might change the gear that they have around a wee bit. Look at Leo and uh, and uh, and a hero go. They're doing some pretty good damage there. Right, let's do this the right way this time. Just use crematorium. It's just easier. Cause yeah, the the mannequins will just run around the battlefield whether I want them to or not. gains a level <laughs> so as you can see we're gonna have to manipulate a lot of little buttons and switches on the ground here and we're gonna need our sword buddies to help us do it but it is a lot easier when you don't have the spinning uh, the uh, the heat fangs running around smacking you the whole time the only negative is that we can't really reach we can't reach them every time with every character so that's kind of a, 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 a no bueno. So I'm just going to show you this fight and then 
future fights. I might kill one of the swords too, just to show you the sword fight. Um, that way we can knock some of that out. And then I'll just kind of handle the rest of these enemies here. The other option too, actually, which we might actually, I might actually consider here is to put the uh, two Chiro Crests on Lamina so she gets her magic attack off first. But, I don't know, I'm too lazy. We require effort. So let me pick a fight with one of these swords so you can see the, the battle here. So, it's again, it's still the Wicked Wood enemies, and then now we have the Living Sword that we have to deal with. I believe they're a little trickier to kill. And <coughs> supposedly further away from reach. But yeah, these fights really aren't that interesting. see that the XP is actually really good it's three times what it was in Zophar's domain so hence why I'm trying to make the effort to exploit this we're gonna kill everything by the way make sure that this is toast okay and then seriously they somehow went around it you gotta be shitting me there we go so let me go ahead and uh, finish these enemies off really quick. All right, cleared out that room, but I did make the effort to change uh, my gear around so Lamina would attack first because it's really going to be far more beneficial uh, as the enemy groups and mobs are getting... They, they hit pretty hard, so it's in our best interest to not let them hit me that hard. So, But we're not out of the woods yet. As we now run into these things, right? Yep. Yeah. So, Lady Charm and more Wood Dudes. So, for the Wood Dudes, your best bet is, number one, let's move Ronfar up here. Because he'll never reach. And then we'll use, we'll hit them one at a time with Fire Magic. Because the Fire Staff isn't going to do enough damage, I don't think. So, we may as well just use Flame Shot. It's our cheapest alternative. And Lady Charm is going to do the kinds of things you think she would do with the name Lady Charm, and that's why we want to kill her very quickly. Because fuck that bitch. She's got all the STDs. Oh, STDs! Oh, no. Leo, no! And Jean! Jean, you fiend, you go both ways. Oh, my... This is why we, and apparently so does Lamina. We need to kill her quick, fast, and in a hurry. Not Lamina, but we need to kill the, the, the charmed one, so to speak. Oh my goodness, it's still alive! No! I have to do a little something else here. touch uh, okay um now let's let's take out this one first I'm gonna burn through all my healing just trying to beat these charmed biatch, biatches that's okay we we came prepared with lots of starlights so
Oh my god, this bitch still lives! Luckily, that she hit both of them. Ugh. All right, Leo's not confused anymore. That's good. Hopefully, we can finish this fight. There we go. Cobra! Kneel and perish. I had a feeling this was going to be a pain in the fucking ass, but oh boy. I'll take care of this. We know regular attacks ain't gonna do shit, so we may as well do this. Dodge this. Woo. But Hero gains a level. Sweet. I hate it so much. And oh nope. So that was kind of waste. So we need to, what we need to do is we need to fight these until we can get the door to open, and it could be any one of these. Now here's my, ah okay, so we don't have to fight. Okay, if we get it right, we don't have to fight it. That I I, I can handle that. So let me see. Is it this one? Nice. I mean, we'll come back and fight these guys. I'd rather just make sure we don't have to fight any more charmed ones. In all fairness, you know, if you catch my drift. Though, that's not going to work. So, let me clear out these guys. Alright, so we cleared out them enemies. Nice. Oh, nice. Let me, uh... Let me clear out this room here. All right, finish them all off. So it's, I think it's, it's either this one or this one. It's not the outside ones. You know, we're already over here. Let's just try this one. Ah, oh, nice. Now, if you want to fight those other creatures, come on back and do it if you want, but it's not necessary. You notice he's not braving across, is he? That's why. So this room is full of bad guys, and it's really just a, repa a, repet a, re a repetitious um, kind of area. So we're going to keep running into that as an issue, um, being specifically being hit by the, uh, the uh, little spike things. And there's a bunch of enemies in here, so theoretically I could just clear this whole room out. And But I don't want to walk back over spikes that I've already walked over. So, yeah, but there's about two fights in each little bricked area, like this little, like, kind of recta rectangular shaped room with a little rectangular pillar in the middle, which is a little problematic, but you know, what are you going to do? But we're going to deal with it. However, we got to deal with it, unfortunately. But, yeah. So, I mean, this dungeon isn't too bad. It's just really the ones with the, the succubus lady, Lady Charm, that will mess you up. So make sure you, you really are careful when you go in that room. Because all kinds of hell breaks loose. The only way I think around that is to have white dragon pr protect you know ignore that damage and status effect but that's a waste of mp at the same time you're better off just not bothering with them 
If you need XP, you can just exit and enter the dungeon and fight that first room and clear it out and then go heal if you need a level. Which, now that I'm thinking about it, it might not be a bad, bad deal. So, <laughs> what are you going to level to? You're already 56. Except Leo. Uh, I don't know, 60. <laughs> well, <coughs> that actually doesn't sound too, too bad when you say when I say it, when I put it that way. Yeah, we're gonna go big. We gotta heal her MP anyway. And since two of them are doing something nasty, we can at least hit them with the best stuff we got. Might kill them faster. Hopefully. Nope. It helped a little bit, but I ain't gonna help that much. Oh, I killed one though. Nice. But Leo couldn't reach. No. We're probably not gonna use catastrophe again though. It's a little pricey. Right, unless I can avoid it. Uh, need to heal Lamina here. At least one or over two forty, if possible. Oh, it's the stuff of nightmares, kiddos. Let me deal with this. Yeah, went all out on that one for the most part, just because I didn't want to deal with that psycho. That psychotic freaking enemy. I hate that. I hate, I hate the enemies that can do that. Ugh, it's the worst. All right. All right, let me clear out this room here. All right, so we're all healed up and uh, we used our items to get us pretty much back there. It's time to also make some changes to our gear. Pretty much, it's I'm gonna call it the nickname it, call it nickname it whatever the Zofar setup. This is really what we're gonna be doing here. Um, it's pretty much the same exact shtick as we did for the Zofar fight, um, as far as what's equipped and what's not. The only thing I'm not gonna put on for Leo is the blue dragon crest, but everything else is gonna roughly stay the same. And uh, let's do this. So, looks safe enough, right? So, here's the deal, is that there is only one boss here, and that is the Hero's Talisman. Now, with that said, the first thing you'll think is, oh, I'm going to buff myself. Don't bother. Don't do it. The only thing you should ever do to buff yourself is to use Divine Litany. The rest of this fight, we're doing this old style. Um, and the reason is, and we're not going to do it this round, we're going to actually throw up, uh, W, W, WDP, the Wet Dragon Protect, and we're going to go ahead and use Soul Blade. Now, the reason I'm not buffing is because the Hero's Talisman spams, pretty much spams buffs on his two buddies. All we have to do is... And then what I'm going to do is instead of dispel them one at a time, because every round he's going to do it anyway, we're just going to dispel the whole field. So put that into perspective. If we dispel the whole field of enemies, it's buffs, it'll dispel our buffs too, except for uh, the litany. So all we got to do is just smack them down and just absorb the damage as we take it. And this battle will, in a sense, win itself. And with White Dragon Protect up, Lamina can do other things and focus on other things because the again the the two minions are just going to do regular attacks so yeah see that's really dangerous that's dangerously high we don't want that that's a one heck of a buff it gave that the, the the enemy gave him so yeah we don't that's not gonna fly Ronfar can run over there and whack him a few times as well um, where is it clears the field of elemental magic so that'll dispel everyone. 
And it's no joke. The boss is just going to sit there and spam um, the buff. Only reason why I'm moving Ronfar over there. When he's not healing, he can attack. So this, so this boss fight's not going to last too long, because we're mostly relatively going to be safe. Taste my refreshment. We still don't even have, need to cast uh, White Dragon Protect again. Nice. And that's the other thing you got to worry about. It's going to keep summoning more minions in. Again, it's not something I'm really worried about. Not yet, anyway. You can just see I'm keeping my focus on this enemy. I'm wondering... Okay, so there's that, and then there's that. Where you can do that. But see, none of them really are that effective. Um... Believe the that'll go before Lamina. I'm hoping it does. See, that's pretty good damage too. That's why I put Ron for over there. Next round we'll have Lamina use White Dragon Protect again, then have Ron fire AOE heal as well. I think he's almost the boss is almost dead too. So yay. Let's see here. Doo -doo -doo. to heal hero um, this fight should be over this round anyway or so not too worried about it do is finish these losers off so we're gonna dispel them because I'm pretty sure they're buffed and then we're just gonna kick their ass with everything we've got we're gonna go after the bladed one first because it does more damage it does the most damage rather we can AoE them with her because she's just whatever race why not <clears throat> So as you can see, not a big deal. See, they're quite healthy. Buff them, and then we can finish them out here.
Nice block. Nice block. Come on, hero. Take the sword one out. Yeah. Victory is mine. Mega damage. They're still in it, but at least they're almost probably almost dead. Target from now on with Leo here just to move this along. Nice, which means that we're almost done here. And we get 50 grand for of XP for our troubles. And Leo levels. Woo! All right, oh, that's rough. And we get the hero's talisman. Hey, this looks important. Probably because it is. So with that said, we're gonna go back to our other setup here, which would be that and that. And then for Lamina, it'll be the two Chiro crests. Um, and then what we got was we got the hero talisman, which we will do over here. In place of the healing ring magically boost party's attacks so it's gonna be a buff spell that um, increases all of our allies attacks and it's really cheap I think it's only a couple MP <clears throat> one MP all characters so that's gonna be something that, and then that way Lamina can exclusively focus on white dragon protect literally and Ronfar will boost and heal pretty much every other round or so and that's gonna really Establishes. You notice Ronfar doesn't always have to heal all the time. So it's a really useful skill. And when we're in dungeons, we can have Ronfar instantly use that spell. Even in generic fights, we can have him use that spell. And the perk of having him use it right out the gate is going to be great. Because it just it, it makes it makes life so much easier. In the grand scheme of things, it just makes everything easier. Because you're just bashing enemies for far more damage just through regular melee. And Ronfar is going to get to go first in, in, in every battle. Now he's because we've removed the Shiro Chiro crest combo on him because he doesn't really need it anymore. Um, so he's not going to do that much melee. But the enemies are still going to be really rough. They're still going to hit really hard. And they're still going to be prob more problematic than you'd want them to be. So that's going to be one of our best solutions for even you know the opening of random encounters and stuff. So yay. Let's replenish our supplies. And what are we now we're doing on time? I'm not doing too bad, it looks like. It's hard to tell. Let me see here. How much time do we have? Do, 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 do. So, okay, we don't have we don't have enough time technically, technically, um to do the next dungeon, but what we will do is we will head over that way now this one's a harder one this one's gonna have probably the the third worst enemies that we have to face as far as damage output goes so you might be saying well rpg guy where are you gonna go there they give the best xp and there's no boss fight i don't believe i don't believe there's a boss fight and i'm thinking about it yeah i don't think there's a boss fight there pretty sure there's not a boss fight there so the perk of there not being a boss fight there is we can burn through our mp in just in regular battles and that includes Hiro, Leo, and uh, Gene. So, again, again, it's a good option. Um, because then we'll be stronger for the other uh, side for the other side dungeons we got to tackle here. So, to me, it comes off as a win-win, my friends. Well, catches we got to get over there. And it's actually the one place we've never truly gotten to explore. And it's on the other side of where Pentagulia slash... Slash, uh, so far was, was, and it's right here. So, I know this is a shorter episode for you guys. You know, we're, I think, barely creeping up on the 30-minute mark. But it's going to be good that we, we're doing it this way. Because this is a long dungeon. 
No joke. It's a long dungeon. But the best part is, is it's filled with goodies, specifically gear, that's going to really help our party get through these other dungeons later. And it would be silly. It would be absolutely silly to not take advantage of it. Again, the only negative being that these enemies can hit pretty hard. So we're going to try to get through as easily and safely as we can. That way we don't have to worry about it. So I want to thank you guys for stopping by. I'm your host, your RPG Guy. And when we come back, it's we are going deep into the dragon's nest to find the dragon's whores. I mean, horde. Horde. That, that, that's, that's what I meant. Okay, anyway, thank you guys for stopping by. We'll see you next time. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Please take a moment to check out more episodes from the RPG Guy, Tuesday Night Team Up, and more. And please subscribe. Always support the channels you enjoy watching, and while you're at it, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. Keep on gaming hard. See you next time.